Hi everyone, it's Caitlin here from Raptor Reptiles. Um, so I'm just going to briefly go over a quick overview of feeding your dragons vegetables. Now, um, your baby bearded dragons are going to eat about 20% of their diet's worth in vegetables. And your adult bearded dragons will eat about 80%, give or take. Um, obviously each dragon is different. Some dragons will eat more veggies than others. Um, obviously you still want to be giving your dragons their insects because that's what they need. Um, but their vegetables are also a staple in their diet. So I'm going to be doing this video in two parts. Um, first tonight I'm going to show you how to prep the vegetables for your dragons. And then tomorrow morning before I go to work is when I feed them their vegetables. Um, I'll show you how I feed them. Um, and what we do in the morning. Um, most of the time I will try to prep some of this in the morning. Um, I'm going to do it tonight though because I'm going to go over a couple more things with you guys. Um, so if you guys are interested just stay tuned and we'll get right to it. Now the mustard greens and turnip greens along with endive, collard greens, escarole are your pretty much staple vegetables for your bearded dragon. Um, these are going to provide them all of the additional nutrients that they need. Now, you do want to substitute their diets. Like people, they do like a little bit of a change. Um, you always want to make sure that you're offering a variety, but there are certain um, vegetables and fruits to be aware of. Um, iceberg lettuce, for one, is not a good source of food for your bearded dragon. Um, there's pretty much no nutrients in iceberg lettuce. The same goes for humans. Um, and they won't benefit from it. I mean, in a pinch, if you absolutely had to, you could, but I wouldn't suggest it. Um, spinach is also another. Again, it's really good for people. It offers a lot of really great nutrients for humans. Um, but that's again another one that your dragons really don't super benefit from. You can feed it to them, again, in a pinch, but I wouldn't suggest using that as your every single day food. And the same thing goes for romaine lettuce. It's pretty much just all water. And if you feed your dragon vegetables that have a lot of water in them, they are going to have serious diarrhea. So that's something to look out for. Again, if some for some reason you run out of what you have and you have no choice and that's all you have left, okay, fine. I'm, you know, nobody's perfect. We've run out before and had to substitute for something else. It's not a huge deal, but don't let your dragon rely on that every single day. Um, another thing you want to be aware of is your dragons can never, ever, 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 ever have avocado. Avocado is poisonous to your dragons. Do not do it. Um, another vegetable you want to be aware of is broccoli. They can have broccoli, I would say, once a month. Too much broccoli is not good for your dragons. It can cause them to develop a slight thyroid condition, so you do want to be aware of that as well. Um, there is a lot of information online. Now, if you are ever curious about something, please don't just feed your dragon anything that you have in your refrigerator um, because some of it is okay in moderation and some of it's not good at all. So um, really quickly I'll just go back over all this stuff. So we have the mustard greens, turnip greens, um, we also have some french cut green beans, um, baby carrots, and then right here in this little dish are I think about eight blackberries. Um, now you can feed your dragons fruit as well. Now. Fruit that's good is kiwi. Kiwi is great for your dragons. Um, they love it. It's like a nice treat for them. But you also have to be aware that you cannot feed them kiwi all the time. Um, twice a month. I don't see why that's an issue. Um, there's so much vitamin C in it that it's good for your dragon. But it also has a, an acid in it that binds calcium. Um, so it will basically suck the calcium away from your dragon. So you don't want to feed them that either. Um, again, moderation is key here, with especially with the fruits. Um, strawberries are okay. Blackberries are good. 
Apples are okay too, just make sure you take the peels off. Um, again, I'll go over some of that with you guys. Um, but right now, let's get started on um, what we have going on here. So, this is what I have right here for my setup. Um, I have a big knife, a cutting board. Back here I have a chopper, um, our vegetables and our blackberries. And then here I have a um, Tupperware container I'm going to put everything in so that in the morning I can take everything out and... Um, get started from there. So I'm going to set you guys down and get started. So obviously what you want to do here first is make sure um, everything that needs to be rinsed is rinsed. Um, I personally try to buy as much organic as I can. You just always want to make sure that if you can't buy organic that you do make sure to thoroughly rinse all of your fruits and vegetables. Um, the blackberries here I've already rinsed. I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to do these last because um, I'm going to do something special with these. So I'm going to put these over to the side. I'm actually going to start off here with our green beans. Now, I'm only going to grab, I'm only going to grab about, you know, like six, maybe seven of these. Um, again, with these fruits and vegetables, you don't want to give them every single day. What the, a staple item is the mustard greens, the turnip greens, the endive, the collard greens. Um, you want to make sure that if you are giving them variety, that you switch it up frequently because too much of the vitamins in some of these vegetables is not good for them. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rinse these. Um, yes, they were prepackaged, but I don't know what kind of pesticides were used when they were making these. These are not organic. I wish they were, but I can't always find organic here, so this is what I have. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our green beans rinsed here. I'm just going to um, take my knife here and I'm just going to cut the little tails off of these just to make it easier for me. And I have a garbage right here so I'm just going to throw those away. Alright, so now what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to take a couple at a time. Um, I'm just going to chop these up real small. Um, these are the vegetables I give to all the dragons, so I want to make sure that the little dragons are able to eat this as well because I'm not necessarily picking through it to make sure they don't get them. They also need the variety. So I'm going to chop this all up. Okay, now that that's all chopped, I'm going to get this in the bowl. These ones that didn't really attach all the way. Okay, so that's what that looks like in there. If you can see. Next, I'm going to move on to our baby carrots. Now, these are organic. And these are actually the same carrots that we use for our feeders. And what I also have set out here is um, a chopper or a food processor. So I'm just going to... The reason I'm doing the carrots in the chopper is because the carrots are so thick. Um, I want to make sure that those are really fine. Uh, you want to make sure that your dragons can eat what you put in front of them. Now these are already washed, so I'm not too worried about them. I'm just going to do a quick cut down the middle. And then a quick cut in half. Just to cut down the time that the chopper needs to be on because it is going to be loud. So. Again, I don't do a ton of the extra stuff, just enough for that they have um, a taste of it. And that should look like that. Nice and fine. And it's going to go right in here. So 
don't want to waste any of those. Alright, so now we have like a nice little mixture in here. Next I'm going to move on to the greens. I'm going to take a decent amount of the mustard greens here. Now I, we used to do kale um, for the dragons and I noticed that they seem to enjoy this combination much better. Now, kale is obviously good for your dragons as well. It has tons of health benefits, but each dragon is different and will like different things. Um, our dragons seem to enjoy the mustard greens and the turnip greens a lot, so that's what I've been trying to buy. I can't always find them in the store though, so again, I usually go with what's easily accessible and that seems to be kale. Now, with the greens, these don't have to be as finely chopped, but you do want to make sure that these stems, like this big stem here, you want to make sure that this, even these tiny, like, I mean, they look tiny, but they're really, um, they're too thick. They can't eat them. So you want to make sure that those are off. Um, I'll even go through and take off thick ones that are not necessarily so big, but they just feel thick to me. Um, and here's another one. See this? Like you can see where the vegetable is like kind of folded here. And we're going to take that right off. And then what we're going to do here is just kind of put them in a bundle. And I'll just do a quick like, you know, quick little chop here. Chop here, chop there. These don't have to be as finely chopped. Um... Their mouths and their little teeth are strong enough that they can get through this. Um, but just so that it breaks it up. And then it's going to go right here in the dish. Okay, so we're moving on to the turnip greens here. And we're going to do the same thing, about a handful of them. And we're going to start taking off the stems on these two. Same thing here. We're gonna bundle all this up and just do a quick, quick little chop ski of it. And the dragons seem to like it better when they're in bigger pieces. I used to chop the veggie, all the veggies in the chopper, and realized that we weren't really getting enough of it. So this seems to work out great for me. I missed a stem. All right, and then all this right into the bowl. So now we have um, green bean, carrot, turnip green, and mustard greens in here. Now lastly, we're gonna move on to these blackberries here. There's about eight in here, like I said. I'm just gonna dump those right out onto the same cutting board, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna do a nice, quick little chop up here. I like to chop it up like this, make it nice and you get all the juices out. And I'm going to put it right on top of the greens here. Try to get as much of that in there as I can. Now what's going to happen is, is this is going to sit in the fridge overnight. And it's going to almost make like a, like a dressing. See, I put it right on top there. So it's going to make almost a dressing, like a salad dressing for them. Um, my dragons seem to love the blackberries. Again, everything in moderation. Um, so this here will conclude the first part of the feeding video. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this all cleaned up, get the veggies back in the fridge, and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning when I go to feed them. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, so it's now almost 6.30 in the morning. I'm going to show you guys my next step in feeding the veggies. So I have all the dishes laid out except for one. It's still over on the other side. Um, and here are the veggies that we did last night. 
Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. Okay. That's good enough. Here's what it looks like. If you notice the blackberry kind of Gave everything a nice little coat. <clears throat> I'm just gonna grab a spoon here, scoop some out. It's just easier because the blackberries in there, so it's gonna make it all wet. Uh, let's go here. This is the girls' dish. They eat um, much more than the other guys do. So they eat more than the other guys do. So they get. Um, a real decent amount of veggies here. So here's what it's looking like right now. That's what's left in there is for the other guy. Um, some of these are more full than others. That one's little, so that one looks extra full. Um, the girls eat a lot. The little guys eat a lot. Juniper and Salem, they really don't. Um, so I'll show you when I get back um, tonight from work how much is left over. Um, so I'll just take this one for right now so I can show you. So we're going to come over here. Good morning. Good morning, girls. Hi. So here's everybody's spots in the morning. She's she's ready to eat. Good morning. So I just put the dish down right in here. Right on this corner. And they all know where it is. Right, Booba? All right. So that's pretty much it for the morning. I'm just going to fill up everybody's uh, tanks with veggies. And then... Um, Head out to work. Hi guys, um, so we're back now and it's about 7.15 at night currently and I'm just gonna finish up the video here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a look and show you just how much they eat on a typical day. Now, I do have to mention that the temperature dropped quite a bit today while I was at work. Um, so that definitely affected their eating, I can tell because um, the amount of food that's left in their dishes is a little bit more than what's normally left. Um, after a couple weeks, you'll start to notice the eating habits of your dragons and how much veggies they do like to eat. Um, and especially with um, the set of girls that we have, they typically eat until almost all of their veggies are gone. There's usually only like a couple pieces of lettuce here and there. Um, but I guess since the temperature dropped so much in here today, after it's been unseasonably warm, um, they have all been basking since I got home. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick peek at their dishes. Again, this is probably not the most accurate representation of how much veggies they typically eat. But again, every dragon is different. They're not going to eat the same amount every single day. Um, their appetites change. Um, they may also just... It's hard when you're constantly trying to change up their veggies to give them all the nutrients they need. So sometimes it's, it takes them a minute to realize that they're getting something different. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just going to show you what's left in their dishes um, and show you what I do from here. Now it is 7.15. I got home about, I'd say 45 minutes ago. Usually I get home around 6.20, 6.30. Um, and if it's just me that's home, um, usually what I do is as soon as I come in, um... I'll clean up any poops that the dragons have done while I was at work because that happens obviously on a daily basis. So I'll take care of that and then I'll get myself settled in. Um, and then I will do what I'm going to show you next is clean out all the veggies. Um, I don't leave the veggies in after I get home. Um, they say that you should really only leave your dragons with food that they're going to eat in the next 15 minutes. But for me that's just not feasible. Um, I go to work so early in the morning and get home so late at night sometimes that I can't leave them home all day with no food that would be cruel um so they do eat throughout the day though um they will go back to it so 
even when I'm home on the weekends, I've witnessed it, so I don't have any problems doing that. Um, again, some people might not agree with that, but that's how I have to do it. It would be, again, cruel not to feed the dragons. That's just not right. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna head on over to the tanks, and I'll show you what's left in their dishes, and, um... That'll be pretty much it for the video after I show you guys what's going on here. Um, again, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them down below. Um, we're looking for as much feedback as we can get. Um, we do want to provide you guys with videos that you guys are interested in seeing. Um, I know that the whole reason that we're really doing this is because um, when we really started, there's a lot of information out there and... Um, we find that sometimes all the information people are giving is not necessarily what's accurate. So we are trying to provide another another kind of look into everything. Um, a lot of people have the capabilities of staying home and being with their dragons all day. Um, we have a very unique situation here considering Jason is in the military and isn't home every single day. Um, and that I do work a normal 9 to 5 job. Um, so we're just trying to provide as much information as we can, as much good information as we can. Um, we're telling you this from our experience. Um, people who started knowing very, very little, I knew pretty much nothing. Um, well, that's a lie. I knew nothing about bearded dragons or reptiles for that matter. So this is a new world for me. Um, but it's something that we've really started to enjoy doing. Um, so again, Leave your comments down below. Um, let us know what you want to see. If you have any questions, comments, any feedback you can give us. Um, and really we're just looking to know what you guys are interested in. Right now we're really focusing on things that we were interested in when we first started really growing our colony. Um, so enough rambling. Um, let's get started. I'll show you guys what their dishes look like. Um, I'll go over my cleanup quick. Um, I'm going to try to put some more information below about exactly which vitamins and which minerals are in some of these vegetables that I was talking about. Sometimes it's really hard for me to explain things very clearly, especially because there's so much information about it that I don't want to give you the wrong information by me talking. I'd rather type it out and be able to look at it and review it and make sure that I'm saying the right thing and that you're understanding. So, um, again... Um, the only really big point that I want to make here is that make sure that you're giving your dragons a variety. Make sure it's the food that they should be getting and that is good for them. And third would be don't ever give them avocado. <laughs> um, Alright, so we're going to head over there and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Again, don't forget to like, uh, comment, please subscribe if you're enjoying our videos. Um, and again, feedback is really welcomed here. So, um... We'll talk to you guys next time. Okay, so really quickly, here's um, what the dish in the girls' tank looks like. And there's little Mandarin. Hi, baby. So um, this was the dish that I filled up the most, the large dish that I filled up the most. And as you can see, there's quite a bit left in here. Um, this is not typical for the girls by any means, but again, the temperature did drop quite a bit today. While I was at work, it's been raining here the past couple of days, and... Um, I think we're supposed to get a little bit of a cold front. I mean, it is December and we do live in New York, so, you know, that's going to happen. Um, but the heat's bumped up now, so tomorrow they should be okay. Um, they're in the glass tanks with the heat bulbs. Um, <clears throat> I know that we will be building some new tanks, so that might be a future video as well. Here's a little Mandarin, Mars and Mellow, both propped up. They know that they're going to be... Um, fed insects soon. Um, if you want to see a very detailed, very in-depth video on feeding your dragons insects, um, I'll leave the link down below for that video. That was our last video. Um, you might want a snack for that one because that one was quite a long video. Um, but here's what's left of the veggies. I'm going to take the dish out um, and I'm just going to put it down for right now because I'm going to collect all of them. Um, and then I just close it up. They don't get veggies overnight. They just get the veggies in the daytime while I'm at work. Um, here's Salem. He ate today as well. Here he is, um, laid out. Say hi, Bebe. Cutie. He's like, hey, Mom. Where's those doobies at? <laughs> so, 
Here's his dish. Again, the temperature dropped quite a bit today. He's usually under his Havo hut, which is uh, this little tree bark thing. Um, and comes out when he wants to eat, but usually because it's too, he might be too hot. Or he's, you know, warm enough that he wants to be on the cool side. So, um, this was one of the larger dishes with the smaller amount of food in it. You can always click back to reference, or maybe I can insert a picture to show you what they looked like beforehand. But, um... Typically, there's a lot less veggies left in here by the time I get home. So, we're going to put that down. <clears throat> now, our girl up top, um, she does this. Um, I don't know why, but she'll eat her veggies and then she likes to poop in them. So, if you can tell, sorry if that's, you know, gross for some people, but um, if you can tell, she likes to eat and then poop in them. So... This comes out, this gets washed. She's um right under there, hiding. Um, and that stain over there is some blackberry, so she obviously had a feast. Um, but this is gonna come out, I'm gonna wash this thoroughly. Um, I can go over a video with how I clean all the, all the stuff in the tanks, like all their uh, props. I'll go over that. This is the little guys in here. Everybody's sunning because, again, the temperature dropped. Here's their veggies. Again, these guys actually usually can polish off all of their veggies. I'll get home and there'll be, like, two little sprigs in there. They have quite hearty appetites. They are growing still, so that's a really good sign for them. This little girl's in shed, so she's not happy. But, yeah. So these are her their veggies here. Um, these I dump. If you watched our insect feeding video, you know um, why we dump this and put this back. So, again, if you want to see that, you can click the link down below. The link will be there to go to the last video. And then this is our big guy over here. He's sunning himself as well. And here are his veggies. Now, he is a very stingy eater. We were putting him in brumation, so his appetite has greatly decreased, but... He's still being offered veggies on a daily basis. Um, and that's something that we can also go over in another video with you guys. That's it for now. I'm going to take all these um, over to the sink and clean everything out. And that's it for today's video. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you want to see next. And don't forget this is Raptor Reptiles. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.